All right, let's take a look at the horse. Definitely better. But I'm gonna have to look at some reference. I am slightly not too sure about this here, how far in this goes and how it breaks that ankle at this point. This seems so far inward. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest here. Let me look at reference. Let me just pause this. So I was looking at this here. Uh, let's get this a bit bigger here. And I don't know if this is representative of all horses, but it's definitely not as broken going in. It's one of the better front views that I'm seeing here. So much up and down on the head. It's one of the uh, horse references. There's a lot of up and down. But you know, you can look at the angles there, and it's just not as pronounced. So, looking at this, it seems like it just goes way too far in. Yeah. Watch out for that. I still think that it, it um, what's the word for that? Um, I don't know the word. Say swoosh. It swooshes back too far, as opposed to just getting off and then moving forward. It's a bit more... Um, this is a bit too pronounced. And it's a bit more direct on the real horse. I think you're also breaking this a bit too much in terms of the ankles. You want to be a bit more aligned with that upper part. I wonder if you want to take this whole thing and speed it up like 10-15%, just a bit. And then looking at your, your up and down on these guys. They seem a bit even. I think it's definitely better. But what you want to look at is just a bit more sense of weight and gravity, meaning as this comes off and this starts to push, all the weight is on one leg. It's going to push this whole backside up. It's going to, it's going to be a bit slower than the drop, meaning there's so much you know, weight and gravity involved goes up. And then as it relaxes and this goes forward, this will relax and bend and the butt drops. So on the up, it's a bit slower and then fast. It's kind of like that type of thing versus a very even curve, if that makes sense. And then the same thing here. And you can probably move the head up a bit faster. It has this, horses have this thing of not really the drag overlap that you would expect. And it's a bit more of a, a pulling up of the head to give it some some more drive force i think your your ears are a bit soft there if i'm seeing this right get some animation on there and it feels like your um, motion in y of your chest going forward is a bit much this could just be me it's interesting enveloping how there's this big saucy section there It's just something that feels just a bit slow and spliny and swingy in terms of how far the head goes left and right and how much the chest rotates in Y. And looking at the highlights here, how much they change. And I think it's going to be just a bit more straightforward with some movement because, you know, legs are moving and shoulders um, are activated and everything. But this just being... Also, the speed doesn't help because it's so slow that it gives it that kind of very deliberate, yeah, left and right and left and right. So I think you can have a little bit of left as it kind of wants to go up and you kind of pull that head up a little bit of nose up and then it corrects, goes up here and then might go down a bit of a less of a curve and then rope goes out. So a bit of asymmetry in your curvature there in your arcs. Um, but I think that's it so far. It's, I mean, it's going to be some, you know, a few changes in your rhythm and how you fix that section in terms of how slow is it going to be, like how slow are they going to go up and then a bit more faster towards the ends and how that's going to impact everything else. So I think I would just do one more pass a bit on sharpening up some some parts, right? So you want your your up up and down variation in there a bit more in the head as it kind of drives up and then you want to reduce the left and right on this. Alrighty, and I mean that as well since I'm drawing everywhere here, your Y rotation on this. And then since we have this here, watch out 
on your curvature, like how far back those guys swing out and rotate up, right? And actually on this angle, you can see how much this feels a bit broken. So I wouldn't bend the angle right there with that hoof thing ends. All right, that is kind of it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.